Okay, so now let's create this profile page. And here we need to go to the components folder and in header component. First, I wanna copy this on click event and paste it here. Okay, and the pass is a slash profile. And I wanna name this profile and here this name is account okay so I want to change these names and hit that set and then we need to create our profile page so here I create a folder called profile and in this folder I create a file called profile page okay so profile page j6 and this profile page is very similar to our register page okay so I just copy this register page and paste it here and then I wanna change this name to profile page and also here okay and then I wanna add this profile page to my app.js so I duplicate this line and I name it a slash profile and then this points to profile page component okay so now if we go to the profile you see that I will be redirected why because in profile page I said that if the user state that user info was a true redirect the user to the home page so uh, instead of being true we must say that if it was false we should redirect the user okay so now if we go to the profile page you see uh, we can see the sign up page actually it's profile page but we're showing the sign up form okay so let's here instead of in components folder okay in header component instead of profile I want to say profile page and then here I want to remove these lines in submit handler and here I want to remove the confirm password because we don't need the confirm password anymore and we also don't need this watch okay so we can remove this and then we don't need any more this muted function at this moment at least and then here I wanna delete this paragraph and that's it and I also want to delete this confirm password okay and we keep the password here and this is email we keep this and also we keep this name controller and input okay so I'm gonna remove this h1 here and yeah that's it I think we're good to go and now we can work on the fetching user profile data so for fetching the user data we need to let's remove this okay we don't need this at this moment okay so for fetching the user data we need to import use query from react query okay and then here I use my use query okay and in this use query hook I pass an object with my options okay so the first option is query function the function that we want to run when this page loads okay so I pass a function 
to my query function property and here like use mutation we need to return a function uh, that returns promise okay so we need to create a function called get user profile okay so just return get user profile and this function comes from services folder okay so here i say import get user profile from services a slash index a slash users okay and then let's create this get user profile function in this users file and here i just want to duplicate this login function and paste it here okay and then the name must be get user profile and no the only thing that we accept is the user token okay so here at first i want to create an object and save it in config variable and then i want to save for the headers okay so we config or request here okay so for the headers i want to pass a property called authorization and this is equal to a string that holds the bearer okay and then we need to pass our token and here it's a get request so we don't need to pass any data okay and this must be a slash api a slash users and then a slash profile okay if you remember in our backend here we had the root for getting the user profile data okay so here this this is equal to a slash profile and then the only thing that we need is to getting the user token okay so here we have access to the token and so on okay so here the second argument is the config and yeah that's it we don't need to change anything else and here we can use or get user profile and then need to pass the token and this token comes from user estate dot user info dot token okay and the next thing is that we need to pass a query key okay this query key is very important why because when we want to fetch a data the react query caches the data automatically so if the key is the same in another page it uses the cached data in our browser and then after fetching the fresh data it updates the data and the cached data in our browser so with that said here we need to get the data and i want to name this profile data okay and another thing is that i want to get the is loading okay and i want to name this profile is loading okay and the next thing is the error okay so i want to get the error and i want to name this profile error okay so here i think we're good to go and now the next thing is that after fetching the profile data i want to update this inputs with the current profile data of the user okay so here in the use form hook there is another property called values okay so we can update the input values after that we get the user data from the backend okay so for the values i want to say after that we get 
the data, I want to change the name to the data that we get from the backend. Okay, so I want to say if profile is loading is true, I just want to return an empty string. Otherwise, I want to return profile data that name. Okay, and it's the same for email. Okay. So here I'm going to say if the profile is loading, return an empty S string, otherwise return profile data that email. Okay. And here add a comma. Okay. And I think we're good to go. And we've already get the user data. Okay. So if I refresh this, you see that we get the data after a few seconds okay so make sure that your backend is running okay and then the next thing that i want to do is that here i want to say if is valid was false or if the profile is loading was true okay make this button disabled and after that i want to show the user profile picture okay so here let's make a component in the components folder and i want to name this profile picture that j6 okay and in this component i need to get a prop called avatar okay and in the return statement here i want to return a div that has a classes of its full flex items center and the gap x of four okay and then in this div we have two elements the first element is another div okay and the second one is a button okay a button and the type is a button here okay and then the text is delete okay so for deleting the user profile picture we only need to click on this button okay so in this div we have a label and an input okay and the type of this input is a file okay so if you want to upload a profile picture we only need to click on this label okay because here i wanna make this display of this input sr only okay it's the same as hidden and in the label here i want to say that if the avatar was true okay so if we had profile picture okay i want to show a img tag that in in this img tag the src is equal to avatar okay but before this avatar we need to add or upload pass folder okay so here in the constants folder i create another file called stables.js and here i create a constant called upload folder base url okay and this is equal to http localhost port 5000 slash uploads okay because if you remember in our backend the folder that we store our pictures is uploads folder okay so that's it and then here i wanna create an object called stables and this is equal to an object that has this value okay and then i wanna export stables as default okay so export stables as default okay and then in the index i want to say export default as stables from stables file 
Okay. And here I wanna import stables from the constants and before this avatar I use stables that upload folder base URL plus this avatar. Okay. So here at the end, okay, uh, the result will be something like this. For example, here at the end we have something like this http http uh, localhost and then the port and then the uploads folder and then the image name that jpg okay something like this okay and that's it and then in the else statement i want to say here if it wasn't true I wanna return a div, okay? So here I return a div, and in this div we have an icon that its name is hi outline camera, okay? And so let's import this icon, okay? So the i is not capital, okay? So hi outline camera and I wanna import this icon from react icons slash hi okay so now let's give this id okay the id for html4 is profile picture okay and we need to pass this id to our input file and it's the same here and the classes for the label are cursor pointer absolute inset dash zero rounded full and the background is transparent okay and then the classes for image are with full height full and object is cover okay and the alt tag here is equal to profile okay and the classes for the div are bits full height full bg blue 50 and the transparency of this color is 50 okay and then the display is flex the justify is center and the items is also center okay and the classes for this icon are width 7, height 2, text primary. And yeah, that's it. And we need to pass some classes to our button. So here I say the border width is 1 pixel. The border color is red 500. The rounded is LG. The padding X is 4, the padding Y is 2, and the text color is red 500. Okay, and the next thing is that we need to import this profile picture component in our profile page. So here above the 4, I want to render the profile picture. Okay, and here, if you remember, we need to pass the avatar. So the avatar is equal to profile data and then a question mark dot avatar so here this question mark and we put the question mark when we're not sure that the data exists or not okay so uh, for a second okay we don't have the profile data dot avatar because we're fetching this data from our backend and it takes some time. So we put question mark and in this case, we don't get an error and we just get undefined instead of an error, okay? So here, that's it. And if you look here, I'm gonna refresh this page. It's like this. I think there's something wrong. Let's look at profile picture component and here i forgot to pass the classes for this div okay so the classes for this div 
are relative with 20 height 20 rounded full and we have an outline okay and the outline offset is 2 the outline width is 1 and the outline color is primary and the overflow is hidden okay so now if you look at here you see that we have a circle that an icon is placed in okay and we're seeing this because we don't have a profile picture at this moment okay the profile picture is empty if if i log the data here okay so i'm gonna log the profile data and if i log this you see that or avatar is empty let's look at our data you see that here the avatar is empty so if the avatar is empty we show this icon that the user can click on and choose a picture okay and then here I think it's enough for this lesson and in the next lesson I wanna implement the update profile functionality so the user can change its name its email or its password okay